<laughs> I know. She has love plastic Easter eggs. Say, how many did you get? Say, well, let's see. I've gone through 10 litters. And there was a lady on the marketplace selling Easter eggs. Well, she was selling a bunch of Easter stuff. And I thought, well, I'll get some. And I bought a bunch of Easter. She had a whole just Easter set up. And uh, it was like 10 bucks for there was like eight different packages of those Easter eggs in there. And let me tell you what. They have been the best toys for you guys. They have been the best toys. Because kittens love them. And they have little holes in them. Like regular, you know, Easter eggs. And you put stuff in them for Easter kids. And if you put catnip in it, the fun really starts. Because then they really go nuts. But... <laughs> A little Asher gets her fit gets his fixer upper date tomorrow. And he's got a forever home already. So once he's fixed, he's gonna go to his forever home. Ariel still isn't up to wait. And we're still waiting for a forever home for Alonzo. Okay. <laughs> Ain't that right, buddy? Ain't that right, buddy? Ain't that right, buddy? Still waiting for a forever home for Alonzo. He's a good boy. And he likes Jada. And him and Jada wrestle, and he's just fine. <laughs> and he's just fine. It took him a while to get used to him. Don't give up. They do come around. I think a lot of it had to do with Mama. Mama's still waiting for her forever home, but it's hard to find a forever home with just for just one baby. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, what is that? Ariella, what is that? What is it? <laughs> Just floppy, just floppy little eggs. And they just love them. <laughs> so if you ever think, what am I going to do with all these plastic Easter eggs after I get done with them for Easter? You donate them. Donate them to a cat shelter because kitties love them. They love them. You see those little holes right there? Stick some cat nets inside the egg. It's a win win, I'm telling you. <laughs> Little Asher's going to need to take some with him, I'm guessing. He's going to say, I need my Easter eggs, Miss Magic. Yes, you do. You need some Easter eggs because he just loves them. And he loves this thing right here, too. That's his favorite. <laughs> oh my goodness trying to keep up with all you guys is just crazy 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 whoa whoa Y'all are killing me. <laughs> this man just got a leg cramp so bad. Woo! Lord Jesus, that hurt. That hurted. <laughs> it's hard to have a leg cramp when somebody is playing with your foot.
trying to burn off some energy so they'll go steep. Full of piss and vinegar. Y'all are so full of piss and vinegar at night. Little balls. Think of balls. Look at she carries it in her mouth. Alonzo, what are we going to do with all you crazy guys? See, this is the fun age right here. We're all playing. Give us a box and some paper and some plastic Easter eggs and some foil balls. Call it a wrap because that's a party. That's a party. <laughs> She's carrying it around with her like a dog. She says, that's my ball. Don't you even think about taking it. <laughs> She says, don't you even think about taking that ball. <laughs> so they're trying. They're sneaking up on her. Thinking they're going to get her ball. She's going to walk around carrying it so they don't. Watch. She says, no, you don't. <laughs> Not carrying my... Not taking my crinkle ball, she says. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't even think about taking my crinkle ball. It's my crinkle ball. <laughs> Look, she sees him coming at it. She says, nope. <laughs> She's going to carry it. <laughs> It's away, baby girl. You can't lose it out there. She can't lose it in there, can she? No. She can't lose it in there. Pitch your belly. Pitch your belly. Pitch your belly. He's so fluffy. So fluffy. You're getting a little fluffy on the outside too, buddy. Get a little fluffers. <laughs> Get a little fluffy. that crinkle ball from her. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> They're so silly. They're so silly. They're so silly. Are you trying to take her crinkle ball? Are you trying to take her crinkle ball? You can't be taking her crinkle ball now. <laughs> she says, that's my crinkle ball. <laughs> Did he take your crinkle ball? Uh oh. 
She says, what'd you do with my crinkle ball? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'll put underneath there, silly girl. Silly girl. <laughs> Here we got empty Easter eggs all over the place. Fluffy little blanket in there. I know. I'm unforgettable. You are unforgettable. <laughs> you are unforgettable. <laughs> Ariel is going to have to step up her wrestling game. It's a red fuzz on you. you hear about three o'clock in the morning. He's running so hard he's panting. So I'm running so hard I'm panting. It's panting. Got her ball back. Take my ball. Maverick used to do that when he was little. He would fetch paper balls and he'd bring them back. He'd set them on a the couch and wait for you to throw them and you throw them and go get them. Bring them back. Now he's old and he's like, yeah, I'm not doing that shit no more. Forget that. <laughs> she may be fluffy, but she fits in tight spaces. <laughs> <laughs> 
stay in here. It won't go nowhere. I can keep it where I want it. <laughs> I can keep it where I want it in here. <laughs> Funny. That's the way it goes around here. This is their tuck in procedure. We come in here and we just play a full on out. Nobody to interrupt us. <laughs> Who's gonna get it? I'm gonna get it. Oh, where'd it go? <laughs> it's funny. Say, five weeks ago, we didn't even know where our feet were going. Now, look at them bouncing off the walls. Bouncing off the walls. Open mouth breathing. He says, I'm panting. I'm, I'm playing so hard. That's what you want. It's when you know you're doing it right. I'll be sleepy tonight. Say, oh, shoot, where to go? So we save those boxes right there. That come in those litter boxes right up there. Because sometimes, when you have a lot of kittens, you need extra litter boxes, don't you? Sometimes. So if you hold on to those bad boys, you have extra litter boxes. And it helps them know that they can go potty and it's a little lower to the ground. A little lower to the ground. Easier to get in and out of and train. <laughs> That's why. That's why we have those boxes. I'm gonna have to fix that after you get done playing with it, obviously. You know what that is? That's the cord cover that they have managed to get off the cord. <laughs> See, what are they playing with? The cord cover that was on the cord, keep chewing on the cord. Obviously, they figured out how to get it off. Oh. Are you done? Are you sleepy yet? Say, nope. Nope. Hi, little girl. Jeez. It's not time for all that Miss Magic. Don't even think about it. So here's the bridge to the grotto. Sweet. You get all this water, you know, the spring with the snow belt, kind of running off, and you can marry the cows to that water. It's kind of like a dry sink bed. So funny. He's so funny and fluffy. Here, everyone, take a little break. See, the little girl's not ready yet. She's not up to weight yet. She has to be at least three pounds. 
She got a little ways to go yet. Not from a lack of trying, I can tell you that right now. Not from a lack of trying. <laughs> Done, son. I think playing football is the best. <laughs> Are you sleepy yet? Are you sleepy yet? He says no. No, give kisses. Good boy. He says I'll give kisses. He says I'll give kisses. Such a love, aren't you? Say yes, ma'am. Say I am a love, but I need to play. I need to play, and then I'll give you all kinds of loves. So I need to play, and then I'll give you all kinds of love. <laughs> it's funny. I remember when they first started learning how to drink. They must have drowned themselves about 20 times. Too funny. Too funny. Before they figured out how to work it. He goes, yeah, me too, man. <laughs> All right.